Hey guys, so I'm back with another video. Um, I just finished my hair care video, so I hope you guys enjoy that. Um, I think I'm going to start doing hair tutorials. Um, I know I said I suck in doing hair, but hey, I'm going to share with you what I know. Alright, so um, I'm going to do my November phase, and it's just a, a bunch of things. Um, you know, every month when I do these, I don't just show a couple things because I end up liking a lot of things for each month so I'm I know I'm kind of a little bit late but I've just been kind of busy I've been doing a bunch of haul videos for Black Friday and yes as you guys know I've been shopping shopping like crazy for Black Friday I splurged so much money on makeup like it's ridiculous like I'm not even gonna lie like I don't need makeup I mean you know what? we all don't need makeup you know what? we buy it because we want to not because we need to but it's not a necessity, but I can't help it, okay, I couldn't help it, I love it, I just couldn't take it, I went to Ulta, there was just so much sales, I had to buy, you know, not just one of the gift sets, I had to buy both of them, I couldn't decide, so you know, I don't care, I don't regret it, it was really cheap anyway, 10 and 16 bucks, okay, so, I'm just gonna do my favorites video, um, where I live right now, it's 12.38 midnight, so over where I live, it's basically, it's technically not December 1 anymore, it's December 2nd. So I'm kind of late, so this is my, this is for my favorites, um, for November. Sorry about that, I have some music now. Okay, so, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that I've been loving is this NYX lipstick, and I got it from Ulta. It was on sale for $1.97 for Black Friday, and it's called Rhea. And it's just this nice light brown nudie color. I love, love, love it. I ended up buying two instead of one. And I love this color. Because um, my favorite lipstick from MAC is Fresh Brew. If you guys don't know what's Fresh Brew, it's a luster lipstick. And it's a, kind of like a light chocolatey brownish nudish kind of look. I love this because it's very similar to it and I it's like a light brown nude color and it's not too dark and I like it because it matches my skin tone because on camera I look really white but in reality I'm not I'm actually tan so I love it because it complements my skin tone and it complements my eyes so brown lipsticks look real good on me but not too brown you, know, you don't want like you don't want it to look like chocolate you know what I mean but you just want it to be like a nice brown light brown. And then the second lipstick I'm also loving from NYX is Pumpkin Pie. So I also like to wear nudes, like peachy, creamy nudes. And this is just, yeah, it's like a peachy, orangey color. Kind of like a pumpkin pie. That's why it's called Pumpkin Pie. And it kind of reminds me too of Cream de Nude a little bit and high tea. And these lipsticks are amazing, like I said before. Okay, I know you guys are going to hate me for this, but I love NYX. NYX. I love NYX more than MAC. I'm sorry. I, <laughs> it's not that I love NYX more than MAC. I love, specifically, I love NYX lipsticks more than MAC. Okay, these are so, NYX lipsticks are so creamy. And not only that, the thing that made me fall in love with them is they're so pigmented. Like, with the MAC lipstick, I have to keep swiping back and forth you know, 10,000 times just to really get the amount of color I want with these. I'm not even lying, you guys. I don't even have to press hard. I could just swipe it. I could just swipe the tip and I'll have mad color packed on. So I love this lipstick. It's my number one lipstick. You know, if a, hey, if a company comes out and they prove to me that it's better than NYX, then that's when I will change my mind about it. Okay, so what else, what else, what else, what else? Okay, so, um, there's this other, there's these other three lipsticks that I have, and I'm going to show you all of them, but there's only one of them that I really, really like, and it's from a company called Kiss New York, and I don't know where you can purchase it, but I got it in my beauty, beauty supply store. There wasn't any name, it wasn't Sally's or anything like that, it was just a beauty supply store, and these are lipsticks, and it's in this packaging. And it's called Maxi Shine Lipstick, which is good because you don't have to put a gloss over it. So these are kind of like luster finishes. And the one I love the most is called um, New Beige. 
and like I said, I love wearing nude beigey colors too because I like more, you know, I love the natural simple look. I think it just brings out, you know, brings out everyone's, enhances everyone's features a lot more. And this is just a nice nude light beige color. It's called nude beige and I like it because it's not too light and it doesn't wash me out. Like it doesn't wash me out like cream de nude because cream de nude definitely washes me out. Which is why I sold in my box, y'all. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I really like this. Um, it's from a brand called Kiss New York. So if you guys ever, you're really good. The consistency is very creamy. So it kind of reminds me of NYX lipsticks. This was like a dollar. Okay, so I also went to MAC and I got myself a backup of my favorite, favorite powder. It's not powder, it's actually a blush, but I use it to contour. And it's the Blunt, bl uh, Blunt. That sounds really funny. Blunt. I don't know. I think it's blunt. I don't know what the hell this is. Okay, but yeah, I know this is blunt. Okay, so I love this powder. Um, for contour, I don't use it as a blush or for an overall powder. I use it for contouring. So I don't really care about blush that much. I care more about contouring because I have a huge, fat, humongous face and big round cheeks. And I have a big, piggy-looking nose. So I definitely need to contour. I contour my cheekbones and my nose bridge in the size of my nose. Slim down my gigantic, enormous nose. And um, I really love this, and before for contouring, I used to use my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, but it doesn't work for me because the texture of the powder is kind of like a light, velvety kind of texture. So when I apply it, it doesn't really look like it's a lot of color. It doesn't really pack on a lot of color. But this, since this is a blush, the blunt powder, it's going to definitely cause you a lot not cause you. It's going to definitely give you a lot of pigment and color. So I really love this for contouring. And then also I showed this in my haul, my mini MAC haul video. Um, I brought another black track fluid line. This is a gel liner. It's in black and I love it. Nobody could ever top this. Um, I know there's other duplicates like the Clinique gel liner, the Coastal Sense liners. There's even a drugstore one called L'Oreal Hip liner. But um, I haven't tried any of those, but I really love the MAC Black Track Fluid Line. Works amazing. Um, it's very pigmented, very black. And I also use it as a base if I'm going to do a smoky eye. Like, I have it on my, as, on my lids right now as a base. And then I put a black dark eyeshadow over it to make it pop more and to give it more of a longer staying effect. And I also use this for lighting my rim, the doors of my eyes, and my waterline, and my top lash line. And I love it. It does not smudge. I'm not sure if it's waterproof, but it does stay intact all day long. Love it. And I also picked up another concealer from MAC, um, which is the Studio Finish, I think. And the container looks the container looks like the the paint pots. So I love it because you get more product than the container. Then I know they also have another concealer. And the container, it's in like a MAC eyeshadow um, container, which you get less because this is bigger. So I really love this. Um, it's full coverage, and I love it because I've never really used concealer because I would always buy cheap drugstore concealers, and I would just waste my money because it wouldn't do anything for me. It wouldn't even cover any blemishes or any spots or scars, not even at least two or one. So, finally, MAC has the best facial products. I could give them that. But, hey, I think NYX has the best lipsticks. And, yeah, MAC. I think MAC, I, I just really love their face products. Like, I don't use other face products except MAC. I only use MAC Studio Finish Powder, their concealer, and that's about it. The powder, I mean, the foundation, I use my Revlon color stay. So, love it. Okay, so another one I've been loving is this e.l.f. concealer. And this was like a dollar. I got it from Target. And I like the consistency. It's really, really creamy. And I like it for applying under my eyes. And it kind of 
diminishes my eye bags. So that's what it looks like. So it's really, really creamy. And the other thing is, um, I know tons of people always, always, um, throw away their lashes. I'm sorry, I don't do that. I'm not rich enough to do that. I mean, I don't know if you have to be rich, but that's like throwing money away. I'm not going to use one lash for like a day and then throw it out. I reuse them. If it looks a little bit ugly and disformed, you know, I try to wash them or take the dry glue off of it. But, um, yeah, I just think lashes are really expensive. Like, the Art Dell lashes are $2.99, and I seriously wouldn't even pay for those. That's crazy. I mean, I mean, look at the higher brands like MAC and Makeup Forever. They charge, like, 16 or something for, like, a little eyelash. Like, that's such a ripoff. So, I've been getting into lashes. Um, I usually just wear mascara. I use, I have really straight thin lashes, so I try to use a lengthening mascara. And I try to use Clinique High Lengths Mascara or my MAC Zoom Lash. And then I try to curl it. So it's curled. And it stays like that really nice. And then five seconds later, it just kind of goes back down. So, the lashes I've been using are very, very cheap, and they're from e.l.f., and they're only a dollar. I bought a whole bunch of these, and I love them, and they're called the Instantly Intensified Lush Lashes. And I love it because it's very sexy, bold, and dramatic, but it doesn't look too much. It's not too long. So, I don't look like, you know, a drag queen or, like, a fake, like, um, dancer or, I don't know, those fake girls. You know, it's just, it just looks really natural on me. So I don't really like it when girls wear, like, really long lashes. Because sometimes it just makes them look like they're trying too hard. So, like I said before, guys, I love, I, I try to keep it as natural as I can. So, so the next one is this brush that I use. And it's super, super huge. And I love it because it's made of wood. Very sturdy. And I love how the tips of the bristles have, like, a little, like, soft ball in the tip, which kind of massages your hair, see, look at that, I can't even, like, go through my whole hair, it tangles, so I love this, and you guys will never believe where I got it from, I got it from the dollar store, for a dollar, love it, okay, so the next one is this, um, Victoria Secret, um, perfume, it's like a travel size I picked up near their, um, what do you call that? Near their, their cashier line? Yeah, whatever. Near the cashier. And it's called Sexy Little Thing in New York. In New York. It smells really good. It has like a fruity, feminine kind of smell. So I also picked up a... I never really use an eyebrow pencil because I find them to look fake and look too much in the eye. So I usually use powder, more brow powder. And I use the one that's my skin to my... That matches my eyebrows, and this one is in dark. It's called Browsing. It's from Benefit. This is my Benefit eyebrow kit. It comes with a wax, and it comes with tweezers and little brushes. And then the next one is I'm also loving this Victoria's Secret Lasting FX Eyeshadow Primer. It definitely keeps my lids not oily, and it keeps my eyeshadows in place. Then my e.l.f. concealer, and I don't, this is lighter, like if you need a few shades lighter, but I like it because I use it under my eyes to diminish any dark circles. So the next one is my, I just wanted to try it out, I bought an eyebrow pencil from NYX in light brown. And I also bought one, a white eyeliner, and I want to use this in the rims of my eyes to make my eyes look bigger. This is also from NYX. Okay, then I also, I've been loving this NYX pigment, and it's called Nude Pearl. It's really pretty, and this single eyeshadow from NYX is called Champagne. It's kind of like all that glitter is from that. Okay, and I've also been loving, where is that? Oh! My Sephora brow gel. Well, it's a clear mascara, but I use it as a brow gel to keep my brows in place. And, oh, and of course, my Sephora retractable lip brush to fill in every crevice on my lips. 
Alright, so that's about it guys and I'll see you in my next video.